you can't do all three of the phases coming in or two? Yeah. You can't do just one? Um, if you did, no, you got to do all three or two if it's a single phase. Yeah. Why would you want to do one? Well, I, I don't know. Yeah. No, you would, yeah. 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 You'd want to do. You'd want to do all three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. To to be able to accurately measure the main. Yeah. And then on now, and that that kind of leads me to another point. So then on the on the breaker side, if you say it's a three pole breaker, you don't have to use three clamps to get around each lead of that breaker. You only have to do it on one. And then in the system where you, you go in and you tell it, you know, okay, I used a 50 amp breaker on this load, I want to name it XYZ, and it was a three pole breaker. So you tell it all that, and then the system knows how to calculate that and does the math internally. Right, that's what I was saying about that. Yeah, okay, yeah, right. So on the breaker side, you just need to use one. On the main side, you're using all three or two, depending okay. if it's single or, or three phase. Good question. Anything else on the portal part? No? Okay. Just a couple more things then on, on the uh, hardware side. Maybe. Okay. Okay, so we're now coming out with lighting control as well. And this is. Um, you know, it's simple lighting control. So a good way to think of this is is uh, it would replace uh, you know time clocks in a commercial facility, right? So you would you could control four relays with this. Um, again, it, it's going to communicate internally on our own network. Then gives you the ability on the web portal to be able to schedule your different lights on off times. Be able to see you know if they're on. Be able to turn them off if you wanted to. And then the panel itself, of course, allows users to be able to you know, override it and turn them on and off from the panel. We, uh, we didn't start off going this direction, but a lot of our commercial customers said, hey, it would be great if I could also do my lighting from your web portal. So we have, uh, we have developed this. We're, uh, we're in several tests right now with you know, guys like Office Depot and JCPenney. Some of the bigger retail guys wanted to try this out. Um, so that's coming very soon. Hopefully by end of this May or end of yeah end of May, Angie, I'll have some some pricing and some tech specs and things like that for you. Also, this will probably be towards the end of June, but coming out with a uh, a commercial controller that is about half the size of that one. So it's it's basically the size of a standard light switch. Has a built-in occupancy motion detector in it. Uh, again, this came about from requests of a lot of our customers and uh, you know, great for some small commercial facilities, great for hotels and other applications. Um, so that's coming soon as well. Um, already have a, a ton of interest in uh, some small, but you know, small retail facilities, but with thousands of locations. So for them, it's all about give me something simple. You know, not interested in the energy monitoring, probably interested in a, you know, cost down, simplified controller that I don't have to worry about doing a whole lot of scheduling and programming. I want it to know when I'm there and when I'm there be at this set point and when no one's there I want it to set way back to 85 or whatever. So that's coming very soon as well. We're calling it the InTouch Pro. Um, again, I'll, uh, as, as we get a little closer, I'll give you more info on that too. So just a couple things to end with. Um, Customers are loving this system. I mean, this, this first quote is, is pretty wordy, but, uh, but, but you know, basically the, the guy absolutely loves the system. Um, he is, uh, he's been great. It's, you know, saved him a lot of money and he loves it. And then the, the uh, quote below, that's for a major quick serve restaurant that uh, um, he just told us this uh, the other day, he got his bill from April um, and look at the savings in just one month. Now the savings the month before, he's only been on the system two months. The savings for the month before was about 800 bucks. So if you use the system, tremendous savings, which again helps that return on investment be very low, typically under a year. So in summary, InTouch Controls allows you to take control of your building, okay? Your HVAC set points, restrict user control with built-in security view and, cont and control multiple buildings, all from one login, uh, access your facility anywhere, anytime via the cloud, 
determine if you had vacancy energy and then take steps to, uh, to stop that. Optimize your systems so you're avoiding using waste. I didn't talk about it, but another thing our systems that you can do with it is sequence your HVAC units. So you sequence them to prevent, you know, say all four of them, for example, starting up at the same time. So if you sequence them, you give them each a time slot. So if all four are calling, priority one, you know, slot one starts up. The other will turn on fan, right? So you do have some air circulation, but will not allow those to, to fire up for, I think it's five minutes. And so it'll, you know, go slot by slot. Once all four are up and running, they, you know, they can all run at the same time, but we're trying to event that or prevent that peak in rush, you know, demand that, that utility companies love to charge you for the whole year on. Um, set up automatic alerting, web portal users, and, and uh, you can restrict their level of access. View all of your different uh, reports. You see things in real time and then historical, and then allows the uh, uh, the users to uh, typically pay for the system in under a year. Are you guys has, has this been pre-qualified at all by any like the utility regulators or any of the rebate program? Is um, that something you assist with we, on we, a given application? We try. I mean, there's sure. there's so many different. Sure. utility companies and different offers and things right. like that we've not done a great job of keeping up with who's offering what rebate and right. what type of assistance uh, I know there's one in Arizona because we just you know went yeah. through helping a user there so we'll yeah. help certainly but we'll sure. rely on some of the local Intel on you know who your utilities are and who's got what and sure then we'll whatever you need from us we'll give you that yeah, they're actually getting better I'm, I do energy auditing but they're getting better to where you can actually hit a federal site that explains all the federal and state rebate programs. Nice. And then they give you a direct link to your that utility provider in the region, which is a direct link to their rebate programs, to at least break it down. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of work in Phoenix and Denver in that region, and those providers, they have a general HVAC rebate type program, and then this would apply towards a custom rebate program where you can demonstrate and effectively yep. The results are there. I right. Mean, you, it's, it, as long as you schedule it correctly and you, you have your staggered start stops you're doing, yeah. does this do any type of, uh, of load shedding or? It can be set up. Yeah, it can, be, it okay. can be set up to do that. So yeah. we, we have to create the APIs with the utility company sure. to be able to do sure. that. Sure. Uh, okay. One of our partners, which is based in uh, Dallas, is Green Mountain Energy. Okay. And uh, and. We've got those set up in place with them. They haven't enabled them yet. Right. Um, they're waiting to build up a bigger customer base sure, and then sure. roll out a, a program like that. But yes, okay. we do. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Good questions. Anything else? No? Okay. Thank well, you, sir. Thank you all very much for, for sure. coming. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Jeff. Thank you. All right. Three hours. Thanks, guys. Three hours. It did. I told you. <laughs>